Well, I'm currently trying to achieve everything to the finest and just live in the moment and then try to do my best. I'm not really good at communicating with others and I think art can be on a tool of communicating my ideas to other people. This one is about the chandelier. I want to show the meaning that I think about escape. Um, I think everyone has to escape to somehow find his or her own identity. And this one is about escape from the delicacy to the roughness because I displayed it in the forest. I mostly got my inspiration from on the people and the environment around me and also through looking through own magazines and online websites. One day when I was looking at the sushi menu, I had this inspiration of creating this piece. We often throw garbage and wasted food into the ocean and the fish will eat it and we eat what the fish eat. So it's kind of like a cross-contamination. This piece I work with the basic element paper. I decided to redefine paper into a really structural model. For both of them, I employed traditional Chinese elements. Ornamentation in Silence is a piece that I've completed last year, and it's about women's rights. In ancient China, um, women were not allowed to act and also like to talk about their own thoughts. I decided to um, put splatters all over her face because when uh, especially the mouth and eye part because women were, at that time were not allowed to express their own thoughts and to go out and to see the environment around them. The biggest award that I've achieved is the Scholastic on Art and Writing Award. Um, I got the Golden Medal for the, under the painting category. My favorite architect um, is Ram Kohlhaas. I really like one of his buildings in Beijing, China, um, the CCTV television building. I think it's really inspirational. Um, I used to live in Xinjiang, China, and the buildings there were all really dull and boring. And I do think buildings can be inspirational, and that's why I want to create functional and um, attractive buildings. Um, this piece is called the folding market and I use wooden boards and acrylic boards for this one. Since the, the cost of sending a shipping container back to a firm is way more expensive than just manufacturing a new shipping container, um, a lot of shipping containers are left behind in the coast. Um, so I decided to use this material. Um, I cut one shipping container in half to create, to further define more space. I intended to use it as a market, um, since a market is a place and can gather people around and increase the interactions between people. At first, I only liked drawing and painting, but then I, I went to a summer program at Cornell University, and I really liked the intense studio life, and I really want to keep learning this, because architecture is really logical and structural, and I really like this the way of thinking. My favorite quote is live in the moment because I think um, no one can predict what's gonna happen in the future so just be myself and do everything to the finest and live in the moment.